Hey everybody, it's Cristona and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today what we're gonna do is go over this piece and I have this idea in my head that I think I'm gonna make it a neutral boho. I'm not even sure if that's a thing. People say it's a thing, I don't know. So I'm hoping at the end of this, it's gonna look more boho than it is farmhouse. So we'll see, but this is a kind of a little glimpse of it. Okay, so we're gonna do the stenciling on the drawers and then I decided to, I was messing around with colors and I decided to do an earthy kind of green, this color right here. And so what I'm gonna do is I am going to go over all the products that I'm gonna use on this that we're gonna be using. And all of the products will be in the description below. So just remember there'll be a link for all the products we use in the description. These are affiliate links, but they don't cost you anything to use them. So it's just kind of a way to help support my small business, say thank you, whatever. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then hit that little bell. When you hit that little bell after the subscribe button, then you get all the latest videos that I upload first before I even put them out to anybody else. Also, I would love if you gave me a like or a comment, let me know how you like this down in the comments below. I love to hear what you guys think. Are you gonna use it? Have you done this before? Do you like these colors? Let me know what you think. So first we're gonna get a list of products that we're gonna use and then we will start on the rest of this piece. Okay, so we're gonna go over a list of the products that you need to do this particular project. So if you decide that you wanna use different colors, you absolutely can, but these are the exact products that we're gonna be using for this piece. So if at the end you like it, then these are what you're gonna need. So one of the products we're gonna use is Dixie Belle's Fluff. It is a white gray from Dixie Belle. And then we are also gonna use Burlap. It's a nice warm tan color. We are going to use Spanish Moss, which is, it's like a gray green color. And then we're gonna use Vintage Duck Egg. So normally I use a lot of color in the pieces that I make, and these are kind of muted, and we're gonna do neutral on neutral on neutral, but then still try to make it boho. So how am I gonna do that? I am actually going to use a stencil, which I've already cut. So I cut the stencil to fit the drawer, okay? And so I cut the stencil to fit the drawer, and then once I do my stencil on the bigger drawers, I will just lay it down and then set them next to each other. So we've got the big, or we got the stencil right here, and what you're gonna need is a stencil brush. And this one's the Redesign with Prima stencil brush, but you can use any stencil brush you want. And then I have tape because I'm going to tape it down. A lot of people would like to use an adhesive to tack down their stencils, but I'm only going to use tape, okay? So I'm gonna only use tape for this to tack it down. But the first thing that we're gonna do is lay a base coat down. So we're gonna start with our base coat, which the base coat is actually going to be Spanish moss. So we're gonna lay down a base coat of Spanish moss and then we'll start working on the drawers. All right, so our first step is gonna be our base coat and we're doing our Spanish moss as our base coat. And so a lot of times these colors are super pigmented and they only need one coat. So I actually did only one coat right here of this. So we're gonna see, we're gonna start with our first coat and then after it dries, we will see if we need a second coat. So I'm gonna avoid this part right here because I'm not really sure what I wanna do. I think I might do on this what I did, what I'm gonna do on the drawers. So we'll do some of the tan and then the vintage duck egg and some of the fluff around there. And so I'm just gonna leave this raw because I'm not sure what I wanna do yet. I am gonna do the entire side, and it's okay if you get over it a little bit, but I am gonna do the entire side in our Spanish moss because I did the front, the entire front in Spanish moss. We will continue to paint this entire piece on the side of Spanish moss, but do you see? This is dry and this is wet, so that'll be the difference in the color. So we're gonna finish painting the rest of this. I like to use my Dixie Belle Mini because it allows me to get right up there without getting on other areas. I like to use nice, long, even strokes. You can see the coverage on this is absolutely wonderful.
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is paint the entire frame. So I'll paint this, I already painted this side, I'm gonna paint the front, and I'm gonna paint the other side all in Spanish moss. I'm gonna allow it to dry, and then I'm going to judge whether or not I need another coat. This coverage is amazing, and I'm actually gonna distress it as well. So that's what we're gonna do. And then after that all dries and I assess that, we're gonna move on to the drawers. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the drawers. I have done the sides and the body, so the frame of this piece, and the Spanish moss. And so now I wanna show you how we're gonna get this look on the drawer, okay? And it's gonna be the same process for all the drawers. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Dixie Bells burlap, paint the in, inner part of this drawer, okay? So we're gonna paint the inner part of the drawer. And it's okay if you go over it just a little bit because we are gonna start blending this stuff together and just go over everything, so it doesn't need to be perfect. Just don't get crazy and get it down here on the front. <laughs> but it's okay if it gets on the border around this part. So we are just gonna do this coat and then we're gonna allow this to dry and we will do one more coat of this once this is dry. We're gonna need two coats of the burlap on this piece. So the next step of this process is when my second coat is still slightly damp of the burlap, I'm going to add my vintage duck egg. I'm going to add the vintage duck egg around the edges right here because this is where we want to blend it in. So just put it all the way around the edges. It doesn't matter how much you put in. And now we're gonna set this paintbrush aside and we're gonna get our paintbrush that actually had the burlap on it and we are going to just kind of mess it together like this. Okay, do you see that? You're gonna go in little circles. What you're doing is you're just blending these two together. You can go like this. Again, don't worry about it getting on the wood up there. And what we're gonna do is go horizontal. You're gonna go vertical. You're gonna go in your little circles. You can dab it like this to get it to blend. But the key is, is to make sure that that burlap is wet. Okay, we're almost doing kind of like a dry blend if you've seen me do dry blends before with just the paint and no water. So we're gonna circle it. This is kind of like a shading almost, a shading highlighting effect. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of the burlap paint. I'm gonna take some of this burlap paint and I'm going to add a little bit to my paintbrush, just a little bit, and I'm going to go across and vertical down here in these areas. So we're still keeping that vintage duck egg look, but we're gonna almost cover it with the burlap so that way it mutes it just a little bit more. So we're gonna have a little pop of color, but we are muting it just slightly, ever so slightly, we're muting it. Back and forth, you can go diagonal, you're gonna go like this. And we've got it blended in, and so we like the way that looks. And so the next step is gonna to be to kind of just flick it up just to smooth it out just a little bit more. So you wanna make sure you're smoothing out all those colors kind of get over here. Now, if you feel like you want a little bit more of the vintage duck egg on here, you absolutely can add a little more to the corners. So let's say that you want a little bit more on this corner, you can do that. Let's add a little bit more vintage duck egg to that corner. We're gonna take our burlap brush and we're just going to blend it in. Okay, you just need a light hand. But do you see how it's blending in right there? So we're just gonna blend it in. We're gonna blend this side in. So then we're gonna have a pop of color on our piece that's neutral. So then we're gonna let this dry and then we're going to paint the outside with the fluff and I'll show you that and then we're gonna put our stencil on. So our next step is to paint the frame of this dresser drawer. So I'm gonna pull it out just so slightly, okay? And I have my oval small 
that I'm using for my fluff. Now, I've also kept out my burlap brush because if I accidentally get any of this fluff on here, I can just blend it right out, okay? So we're gonna take our fluff and I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna try to keep it off of the face of this. I'm gonna paint this framed part right here and I wanna show you how I got a little bit of that fluff on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my burlap brush and just kind of go side to side. And that kind of fixes it. We're almost spot fixing and then we can kind of go like that and then it's no problem at all. So we're gonna paint this entire part right here and then we're going to move on to the next step, which will be the stencil. So I'm gonna paint this entire part Okay, so this entire thing is dry and I wanna show you how to place the stencil. So this is the part that I've already used. I can, you can see that there's some tape lines and some paint. And so what I'm gonna do is I want to put this on the centermost part of my drawer front and make sure that it all fits. So if you can see, we've got it in there nice. This part right here needs to be in there a little bit more and we wanna just kind of set it down and make sure that it's perfect. And that way we have it all in here. And I'm gonna just start taping it off a little couple areas at a time. So here is, this is just painter's tape. And I'm gonna put it on this part right here and kind of just go down. And then I'm going to start um, here. I'm gonna start up here. And I'm kind of trying to counterbalance each area. So you can push that down there. And then we are going to set some right here, make sure we're not covering that part of the stencil. And then if you feel like you need to anchor it in other areas, you can. So we're gonna anchor it just on that little spot. So we've got a little piece of tape and we're just gonna anchor it around. I also like to anchor it right up here at the top. So just as long as this tape is hitting that plastic and push it down and then we're anchoring it right there. Now this stencil, when I cut it out, I cut it to where this piece came off and this little flap is not staying. So let's just tape it up there. Okay. So I, when I cut this out, this little guy right here came off, which is totally fine. So what you're gonna do is you're actually going to meet it up against this part right here. Okay, and kind of push it. Yeah, I think that's good. We'll push it right there. And then what I'm gonna do is, it's kind of sticking right there. But I'm going to take this, I'm gonna put a little bit of tape on here. I'm gonna distress this so it, it doesn't need to be absolutely perfect. But I'm just going to put it down right like that. And then I'm going to actually anchor the other piece of it. So that kind of goes to show you that if you're trimming a stencil, if you cut off a little piece, it's okay. If you need it absolutely perfect, obviously you wanna be a little bit more careful, but we're gonna go boho. So this is how I'm gonna put our stencil on. And the next step is gonna be getting your fluff and then you're gonna get your stencil brush. I'm going to pounce this, but I'm actually gonna hold it in place 
So I'm gonna put some paint on here and I'm going to wipe it off. So I don't want a ton of paint on here. And I'm gonna hold my stencil down in the areas. Now, this is fluff, so I'm not worried about the fluff getting on the fluff, okay? So that's the beauty of us doing it this way and doing these colors. So I'm gonna hold it down right here and I'm just gonna pounce. Once you pounce, it kind of holds itself in place. So we're just gonna pounce around the edges and I'm kind of holding it with my finger to make sure that it stayed down. Okay, so you don't need to wait for this to be done. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel off this little tiny piece first, you know, the one that was like our little rogue piece. We're gonna peel that off first. I'm gonna set this aside. And then I'm gonna start peeling off these ones. And we're just gonna peel it along. And there you go. And now you let it dry and then you continue on to the next drawers. Okay, so when you're creating, what happens when you have a change of plans? You just roll with it. So. That's what we did. Remember I said that I was gonna do the blending on these ones and then we we're gonna do the white. Well, I didn't. I was kind of working on it and I decided, eh, I don't wanna do that. So with these ones, what I did is the same process with this, but I only painted burlap and then I stenciled it and I left it all natural. I just wanted to give you guys that update. And then over here, what I did is I just outlined it with the fluff and then I distressed all of this and you can see in a couple minutes, you'll see all the final pictures, but that kind of goes to show you that I had a plan. I had a plan and the plan changed and now we just roll with it. So here we are and that's it and that's what we got. And I hope that you guys love this video. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Everything we use is gonna be in the description below, as well as all my other social medias that you can find. I also have a blog and a website and all that good stuff. So. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it and boho, neutral boho, that's a thing, right? I, that's a thing. Yeah, no, it's a thing now. If it wasn't a thing before, it's a thing now. Okay guys, happy creating.